just got through making these two planter boxes. I was spraying stain on the first one uh, at the beginning, and I have this, this one is complete. I thought I would go over the details of it, but um, again, I was spraying stain, which is um, pretty convenient, especially for a small shop or homeowner. This is Krylon's new product, exterior semi-transparent spray stain. Comes in four colors. I'm using honey gold here, which approximates the yellow cedar that I'm using. Um, this is so easy to use. I, I really like this new cap that they've come up with. So many times I've struggled with a screwdriver or banging the can on an edge to break the cap off. And this you just squeeze the side and pops right off. They also have this new nozzle, which is it's like using a spray gun in many ways. Um, you can keep the can vertical, which is uh, great for keeping the product where it needs to be. And by adjusting this little white nozzle, you can spray verticals, horizontals, diagonals, or anywhere in between. This rotates 360 degrees. So this great product, this is the first time I've used it, and I, I recommend it. I likely will be using this uh, in the future. So some other great features about this, it dries fast, about 15 to 20 minutes to touch, and about 24 to 48 hours before being able to use the product, uh, piece that you sprayed. It's water repellent and also is uh, provides UV protection. So um, these planter boxes
They're exactly the same, and um, what I did when I was cutting the material, it's almost easier and quicker just to cut all the material for two. Uh, so I left all the setups the same and cut twice as many parts, so I was able to make two of them pretty quick. This uh, project kills a number of birds for me with one stone. One, it takes care of a lot of extra scrap and material that I was building up around the shop. I was getting a little cluttered. So um, basically this uses two eight foot pieces of one by six cedar and six one by four by eight uh, pieces of cedar. It also uses half a sheet of three quarter external uh, or exterior uh, plywood and half a sheet of uh, half inch or half inch or three eighths external clear uh, cedar faced uh, plywood. I made my own trim by just taking the excess stock and running it through my table saw. I also took time just to quickly run this through my thickness planer so all the pieces were all the same thickness. These pieces were scrapped from different projects and they varied uh, a fair amount in thickness. And since I was using this uh, Craig jig and I know that um, I'm going to get better results with uh, stock that's of similar thickness and cut nice and square. I went ahead and ran it through my thickness planter. In all honesty though, you could build these uh, planter boxes with basic hand tools, a handsaw, a uh, combination square, and uh, a drill without any problems. I just took advantage of the machines I have in my shop to make this quick. Basically this is about a one weekend uh, project. Now you notice that the inside is black and what I did after I sprayed the Krylon um, exterior semi-transparent stain and once it was uh, dry I took masking tape and masked off the inside edge of the trim and then I applied two coats of black asphalt emulsion that's used for waterproofing and weatherproofing uh, various things. This will provide a nice uh, durable interior for this planter box, whether they put uh, uh, potted plants or actually fill it up with uh, soil. I also took some mesh screen and stapled it in the bottom. There's three holes, uh, one inch in diameter to allow for adequate drainage. So this project went, to be, went together very quick. I made some small snippets of uh, video while I was putting the project together just for demonstration purposes. But I use my Craig jig and I rely on uh, Craig products and the Craig jig in my shop quite a bit. I've made a lot of different projects with the Craig jig, everything from a uh, exterior fence to some nice uh, 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 cherry furniture with the Craig jig and I, I really like it. So uh, basically this just uh, clamps to my workbench and when I don't need it I just put it down below. And um, I have a whole bunch of Craig clamps but this project was basically assembled with this uh, steel plate and Craig clamp and it worked perfect. It went together so quick that um, I think if you don't label your pieces and there's so many similar pieces you could easily make a mistake because it just goes so fast. So one extra tip I can give you when I made this um, project and I cut out all the parts I took time to take uh, some masking tape and just label the parts as I ran them through the um, either the miter saw or the uh, table saw just so that everything was labeled and I wouldn't lose track of what part was what and where it went.